And today we have an EMOM workout. You guys have been requesting this for a long time, so here it is. So if you've never done EMOM before, it's every minute on the minute. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have five moves. At each start of the minute, we're gonna start the first move, have a certain amount of reps, complete them as fast as we can, and whatever time we have left, whether it be two seconds or 50 seconds, that is rest. And then when the next minute starts, we're gonna start the next exercise. We're gonna start out with a basic warm up and then I'll go through the movements and then we'll get right into the workout. All right, let's get warmed up. Rawr. All right guys, let's start out with a basic warm up. Start with your feet out wide. We're gonna sink down and move side to side. Oh baby. Pew, pew, pew. Nice job. You think about putting that weight mid foot to heel as we go side to side. Getting those legs nice and ready. Three, two, one, and go ahead, bounce it out. Let's rotate those arms forward. Getting the shoulders, getting legs, getting our mind all ready for the chaos to come. <laughs> e are really fun. They're really fun, yeah. Three, two, one, and bring it backwards. Keep bouncing it out. Whew. Nice job. Go for three, two, one, and let's go with regular squats. So sink down, come up, and then open up that chest, squeeze that back. And when we are doing these squats, we want to think about sinking down midfoot to heel. So sink down and then press up midfoot to heel. Let's squeeze that back. Try to get your legs at at least 90 degrees. And then keep your back as flat as you can, keeping your chest up. Whew. Nice job. Let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead. Shaky, shaky. Let's go with some high knees. So drag those knees up. Whew. Lean back slightly. If you're not quite here yet, go ahead. You can always do marches instead. Whew. Nice job. One, and let's go with those back lunges. So we're gonna step back, think elevator, sink down, and then bring it back up. So make sure you're not shooting those knees forward. Step back, sink down midfoot to heel again, and then bring it back. Back is nice and flat. Ooh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be shocking. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Now the first round is usually pretty easy, pretty easy going. Second round, all right, this isn't too bad. Third round, you're like, okay, so we have like two rounds left. And then fourth and fifth is where it gets super fun. So make sure you stay with me. And go ahead, bounce it out. Let's work on some lateral movements. So step over to the side, get that skater. Nice stability here. Now, if at any point you are so tired, <laughs> you can always pause the video. That's the nice part about this. You can just pause it and then come back to it. I'm also going to allow you guys, oh, well, you guys, remember you can always set your own rep ranges. I set my own. So you can either try to follow along with me or you can add more and go ahead and bounce out or you can take some away. That's totally okay. All right, let's go with jumping jacks, and then we're gonna get into the movements. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, guys, so our first movement is going to be jump over burpees. Now remember, I'm just giving you the demo so we can practice them and then get right into the workout. So if you want to, you can always skip if you've done this workout before. So starting out, you're gonna have 12 jump over burpees. So we're gonna grab a dumbbell, place it here, come down. I'm gonna go chest to floor. That doesn't mean you have to jump up and jump over, okay? You can also do it this way. If you have enough room, jump over. I actually kind of prefer that. Now, remember you can always come down, down, up, up, and step. That's always an option. Make it 10 burpees, make it eight, whatever you need to. Then we have 16 kettlebell swings. I'm gonna use a kettlebell, but you can use a dumbbell. I'll demonstrate both. So grab that weight safely. From here, we're gonna hinge from the hips. It's not a squat. Hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly, 
squeeze that booty. And if it weren't for those hips and the momentum of that swing, then the kettlebell would just be hanging here. So make sure you're not using your arms to get, uh, bring that kettlebell up. They're just holding it there nice and secure, okay? Um, if you need to, again, you can use a dumbbell. Hold it like this. I do have a goblet and you're like, ah, okay? <laughs> Sink down, squeeze that butt. Back is flat. All right, after that, we have 16 dumbbell squats. So you can place your weight here. I find this to be the most comfortable, okay? And then, just like in the warm-up for the squats, you're gonna sink down and bring it up. You guys can be doing these movements with me right now if you want to as well, okay? So 16 of those, if you wanna use one dumbbell or none, that's okay too, all right? After that, we have 100 skips or high knees. If you have a jump rope, it's all you, okay? And if you don't, you can either do high knees, which is gonna be way more intense, or we can pretend that we have a, dump, or a, a jump rope, okay? Last but not least, 30 bicycle straight punches. I have the mat here if I need it. So, what we're gonna do is, most challenging version, legs out, torso up, bring it up, touch, now, notice how I'm bringing my torso up as well. I'm not just bringing my knees in, okay? If you wanna make it easier, we're gonna plant our hands behind us, and you can either plant the feet or hover them. Drive it up, drive it up. So it's gonna be 30 total, so I'm not that mean today, okay? Remember, set your own rep ranges, go your own pace, and just have fun with it. This is a challenge, and it's really fun to challenge yourself like this. All right? Let's get started. All right, as soon as I click this timer, we are getting started. So make sure you are prepared for those 12 jump over burpees, whether you do all of them or not. Oh, I always have to suck myself into this. All right, three, two, one, and let's go. So, down, up. Keep it up, keep up with me, or remember to go at your own pace. Remember, this is your workout. Sloppy form. All right, we got 13 seconds. 
And then we're on to 100 skips or 100 high knees. Um, if you lose count, which is so easy, just follow along with me. Stop when I stop. Let's take that. All right, so. Those 
burpees is they just keep keep reminding you how out of breath they are. <laughs> They're like, you still haven't recovered, have you? All right, three, two, one. again. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Let's do it. Woo. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Nice. Keep it up. Doing just like bounces, 
Make sure you bring your arms into it too. That adds quite a bit. All right, get ready guys. Four, three, two, and let's go. Well, think about your goals. Is this helping you towards your goals? I 
that's awesome. That's changed your mindset. So if these burpees suck, these burpees, every rep is gonna help me towards my goals. And that's really cool. That's really cool. All right, let's go. one more burpee. Even if that means you go over the clock, I want you to try it out. If you want to see those results, you gotta challenge yourself. So if you've been staying in your comfort zone, I want you to change that. Three, two, one. All right guys, jump over burpees. Let's go. One, two, three, keep it up. Let's do 
do it. 10 seconds. Woo. Then we only have abs after this. Nothing. It's nothing. Okay, let's go. down your head. Just make sure there's no um, space in that lower back with the ground, okay? Always, we're just going to bring our lower back into it. like the video before you go share it please share it <laughs> I want to reach as many people as possible it'll mean the world to me if you do and also if you guys would subscribe to my channel um yeah I'll probably do a what I eat in a day video so hopefully you guys will like seeing that um yeah let's cool down for our Alright guys, let's see how many back farts that we do. Come on down, bring that right knee to your chest and pull. Pull it close to your tibials, hip flexor area, right here, all the way up to the quads. Those quads, hip flexors, whatever. Yes. Pull, breathe. Remember to breathe, that's important. And go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, opening up the hip. And this move is a little uncomfortable, it's a little vulnerable, so. Try to um, not tense up here. Try to relax that right leg as we stretch it out to the side. Yeah. Breathe. Then go ahead and take that left hand, grabbing onto that right knee. We're going to cross it over our body, bringing our knee up as close as we can to our face, but close to the ground as well. Right arm to the right and look over that right shoulder. Getting a nice spinal twist. You're also going to feel a lot in the glutes. And to breathe. Use that left hand to pull that knee closer to the ground. Nice job. And let's go ahead. We're going to switch sides. Ooh. Okay. Wait, that for it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's a good day. If this is too intense, you can always bend that right knee in. That's totally okay. Everyone's... Um, at a different place in their fitness journey. And go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, opening up that hip. Right here. This side for me is a lot tighter. So I'm really concentrating on that breath. Thinking about every exhale, I'm literally melting. You look over, I'm just like a puddle. I'm Alex Mack. 
and go ahead, cross it over. If anyone understood that reference of Alex Mack, please let me know in the comments. Let me know I'm not too old. <laughs> you guys are probably like, aren't you like 16? I'm not. I'm almost 30. <laughs> oh, so weird. <laughs> and go ahead, bring it back to center. Down. We're going to roll over onto our tummies. Tummy time. Ah. Okay, oh, I'm so slimy. Okay, hands by the chest, press onto the knees. Keep the knees where they are, right under the hips. I'll show you over here. We're gonna walk our hands forward, keep your butt up in the air. I know it's kind of funny, and your spouse is probably like, ha ha, I'm gonna poke you um, with, with my, my, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> it's okay, I marked my videos as not for children. <laughs> Shaky, shaky. You should feel some of the shoulders. And walk your hands back. Bring your big toes together, knees out wide, and sit back. Woo. I like when those Kappa laws came out and stuff. I'm like, should I, do I have to like start, do I have to like say a swear word at the beginning? <laughs> and like, this isn't for kids. Bleep. And then go on as my normal self. <laughs> Bring it back up. Let's bring those knees together, and now we're going to come down to a child's pose to try to bring your forehead as close to the ground as possible. This is going to be a nice stretch for that lower back. And go ahead, slowly roll it up. Woo. Breathe. So that way we don't black out. <laughs> Curl the toes underneath. Let's shift those hips up. Making sure our legs are straight or have the knees slightly bent if we need to. We should feel a stretch in the back, right here in the hamstrings and in those calves. Just relax that neck. You can um, totally add movement here, side to side, bicycle out the knees. It's open to you and whatever feels good for your body. Go ahead, slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time. Let your neck be the last thing to come up. <sighs> Ooh, both the shoulders. Right. Now, I know a lot of people have tight uh, chests, especially because we're like here, and we're like here, and we're like here. So we're gonna try to fix that a little bit. Pass the hands in back. We're gonna bring it over to the side, and then we're gonna pull our elbows back. If you really wanna think about pulling back. <laughs> oh, sorry, I hit up the burp at the same time. Um, yeah, so you feel it right here. Go ahead, bring it to the other side. Sorry if there's voices. There's a few people at the gym here. And go ahead, shake it out. Whew. All right, guys, the most important stretch of them all. Let's do it. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Ush, perk, ush, perk, ush, perk, ush, perk. We are done for the day, guys. We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy awesome email workout for later. Let me know in the comments below which move was most challenging for you. Uh, if you know Alex Mack, that would be awesome. And also, please do subscribe. Hit that like button. Like, punch it. Punch it. Just break your, break your computer. Oh my. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you soon. Have an amazing rest of the day.